Hey guys, it's the plant doctor here. What I want to talk to you about today is how to care for your azalea bushes. So this azalea bush is not looking good at all right now. So what happened here in my area in early March, so today is March the 27th. What happened to us was this, early March, first week of March, 80 degrees one day, 82 the next day, 79 the next day. Like we had a week of 75 to 80 degree weather. The very next week, we had a low of 21 degrees. So what happened was these azaleas started to push out a little bit of new growth, and that new growth got burned back pretty hard. And so I, I'm going to baby, baby these back to health, and we're going to have some nice looking azaleas, believe it or not, here in about a month. They're going to look really good. So let's just talk about year round azalea care and maintenance. And for me and for you, it should start with this. It should start with soil chemistry. So azaleas are going to be in the family Ericaceae. And that literally means acid lover. And so these are things like rhododendrons, azaleas, blueberries, they all love acidic soil. So like a pH of five, is like ideal for them and most plants like to be in like a six five range one thing you can do to check your soil ph is this get you a soil test box so if you're in the united states your state has a land grant institution where you can send a soil test off at for me it's auburn university in auburn alabama um, if you're in south carolina it's clemson if you're in Iowa, it's Iowa State. If you're in Colorado, it's Colorado State. Uh, but you can go to your local county extension office, pick up a soil box. It's going to look something like this. And you just put soil in there. You mail it off. For the state of Alabama, it's $8. It's not a big deal. It'll give you your soil pH and then your nutritional values of your soil and it'll tell you how to care for what crop you want to grow. And for our case, it's azaleas. So they would give you specific instructions on how to treat your soil for growing beautiful azaleas. If your soil pH is off, there's this product here and I'll try to have all the links to the products down in the description so you can just buy those off at Amazon. We have our affiliate uh notification now with amazon so check that out in the description but this is sulfur okay so not getting real deep into soil chemistry if you add sul sulfur to your soil that's going to add hydrogen ions which decreases the soil ph's and that's what we're after with azaleas if our if our ph hitting around five somewhere so that's soil chemistry okay in, in terms of getting your ph right the next thing we want to talk about is this or the fertilizers that we're going to put out. What I do with mine, I put out a 2020-20 60-day release preel, okay? And I'll do my best to try to link that in the description as well, uh, or a very similar fertilizer that would be good for azaleas. I'm going to go ahead and fertilize these, okay? So here again, this is very late March, first part of April. And our first freeze, our last frost, last freeze date here is usually around April the 15th. Uh, so they're not going to put on a ton of new growth if I give them a little fertilizer between now and April 15th. Okay. Uh, so, and that's all I'm going to do to them in terms of fertilizer. I'm giving them a balanced blend of N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. It's a slow release form. And these guys are going to green right back up in terms of pruning the only thing i'm pruning right now is this i did have a few branches that died off during the cold snap it got so cold that i had two or three entire branches uh get burned off of the plants i've got an entire row of azaleas right here and so there's probably a, a dozen of them through here and i had one or two branches all out of the dozen plants that actually got killed I'm gonna prune those off. I'm not pruning anything else right now. Reason being is this, these azaleas are loaded with flower buds. They're swelled up. They're ready to, to do their thing here in another week or two. Uh, they're gonna have beautiful flowers all over them. If I prune now, I'm gonna cut off my flowers. The plant will be fine. It's not gonna hurt the plant, but I'm not gonna have those flowers that we work so hard for 
uh, here with these azalea bushes. After they flower, I'll come back in uh, and I'll probably just shear them with the pruning shears. I'll give them a light shear and they'll thicken back out and they'll be fine in terms of uh, looking like a nice full evergreen shrub that they are. So th that's really it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was um, how we're going to treat our soil, how we're going to prune these guys. One more thing that I should probably add here is this. One thing that you need to look for on azaleas in terms of insects is aphids. So aphids or azalea lace wings will get on these as well. On the bottom side of the leaf, okay, you will get aphids sometimes. Now there's a couple of ways we can um, control aphids. One, you can use other predatory insects. You can actually order ladybugs online and those ladybugs will come in and eat the aphids. Or you can use something like a seven dust or any other very light insecticide uh, to spray it down and that'll take care of aphids. Aphids and azalea lace wings are pretty easy to take care of, but most of the time we don't get a whole lot of insects on these particular shrubs. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. It means a lot to us here on the channel, all the likes you've been giving us. If you have questions, please leave them down in the comment box below. I do my best to answer all the questions we get here on the channel. And until next time, this is The Plant Doctor.